Hey, fancy meeting you here in Singing Bowl Land. And sure enough, I got another one. This is going to be called a large singing bowl because it's really heavy. You, you got to have a pretty strong bicep to hold the darn thing up, you know. Or prop it into your, into your hip here. You make a kind of a tripod, see. Uh, sure enough, how, how it's conceived of being used is set it flat and use it as a gong. And it has quite a nice range of sounds available as a gong. So, two and a half kilos, and yet it's only a little over ten inches. Five inches deep, so pretty, pretty deep. But that's, you know, ten inches, oh, they could have gone twelve with two and a half kilos. So, uh, consequently, we've got a bowl that's very squat and fat and heavy. The walls are pretty thick, not uneven, mind you. Just thick. Everything's kind of extra thick. So is this lip. Look at how rugged that that lip is. So it's just the kind of bowl that doesn't get extra vibrations. And I think you can hear, well, obviously you can hear that high note. That's the one that hits your ear hardest. All right, let's, let's see what that sounds like. So that's it. In the middle of octave playing around A and maybe if we maybe we can catch it with the stick uh, no I was thinking we could pull that A out harder because if we what we want is that lower note you hear and sure enough a little bit heavier, heavier stick all that notes really Reliable, easy to find again. This is a handsome bowl. It's old. They call all bowls that look like this antique in Nepal, although probably it's only 60 years, perhaps 80. Has some truing lines or design marks, bands around the side, and then those kind of dark spots are the hand hammer spots that have oxidized and the, the shape is you know excellent really quite flawless actually so let's just go out with a bang here yes and ah give us a song there <laughs> 